Today's lesson is on estimating products. And to get started today, um, I would like for you to take a look at this math message problem. Um, this is a very short little article about what do Americans eat. So if you would, go ahead and read that to yourself. And when we look at this article, does any of this information surprise you? That seems like a lot of food, doesn't it? Do you think any of this information has changed since it was collected? I would guess yes. Uh, the eating habits of Americans change over time, and this survey was actually done back in 2002, so most likely it has changed. So when they talk about what is meant by the average American, does everyone eat more than 2,000 pounds of food per year or about five and a half pounds per day? Well, not everyone, but some people eat five and a half pounds of food. Some eat more and some eat less. If all the food eaten by all Americans were divided into equal shares, each person's share would be more than 2,000 pounds of food per year or about 5.5 pounds per day. The average American is one who eats an equal share each day. Okay, so as we take a look at that information we're going to try to answer some questions making what's called a rough estimate for answers to describe um, the answers to our questions about this food. So let's take a look at those. So in your math journal I've got two pictures here. The one at the top is just a reminder of what the average American eats. But in your math journal, you're going to be asked to answer uh, the following four questions. I will eat about blank eggs in one year. I will drink about blank cups of milk in one year. And I will eat about blank cups of yogurt in one year. And then you're going to have to kind of explain um, how you figured out your answers there in number four. So when we look at these questions that you will be answering in class, how could we start this? Now remember, all the numbers are based on one year. How many days are in one year? Well, there's 365 days. Or we could look at it in months and try to figure it out that way. So, what, how would you go about that? If you think about how many eggs you eat in one week, could you calculate an answer that way? Well, then we'd need to know how many weeks in a year, and how many weeks are in a year would be 52 weeks. So, there's a few different numbers that we could use to help us in answering these questions. And then you would have to make the conversion and make sure that you were answering it in um, a year instead of months or weeks and things like that. So I want you to be thinking about that. How many eggs you eat in a week? How could you figure that out? How could you translate that to a year? Um, as far as milk goes, same thing. Yogurt, um, maybe you don't like yogurt. Maybe you don't eat any yogurt. Um, I've had some kids in the past tell me that they don't like yogurt. So that would also play a part. So you will finish this up in class. I just wanted to give you a preview of what it looked like and to be thinking about how we would solve those questions. So the other thing that we're going to be doing in this lesson is we're going to be um, looking at some word problems like the two that you see here on the screen and you're going to have to round the numbers. Um, to actually figure out would an exact answer be in the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, and so on. So if we look at the first problem, we have a koala sleeps an average of 22 hours each day. 
about how many hours does a koala sleep in a year? So first of all, you'll notice that I changed the 22 to 20 because I rounded that. And then I am multiplying that times 400. Can anyone think of why I might be multiplying that times 400? If you will recall, the question is asking you how many hours in a year. So there are 365 days in a year, and if we round that to the nearest 100, it would be 400. That's where that came from. So we would take 20 times 400, and of course that's going to equal 8,000. And then we look at the little boxes below that, and we can determine that our answer is going to be in the thousands. So we would circle that. Let's take a look at the next problem. A prairie vole, which is a mouse-like rodent, has an average of nine babies per litter. If it has 17 litters in a season, about how many babies are produced? So our number model would look something like this, 10 times 20. And where I got my 10 was I took the nine babies per litter and I rounded that to 10. And the 17, I rounded to 20. And when I multiply that out, I'm going to get 200. So in this instance, my answer is going to be in the hundreds. So I'm going to circle hundreds. So you're going to have a page similar to this in class that you will work on, where you will round the numbers and then circle um, what your answer would most likely end up in as far as tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and so on. So to summarize um, what we've talked about in this lesson, we um, looked at rough estimates, and rough estimates are estimates of the magnitude of an answer. So sometimes um, answers can be pretty big in scale when we're talking about something for a whole year that's pretty big that's a lot um, to think about so we kind of have to to make a rough estimate to help us um, answer those kinds of questions we can determine if an answer will be in the tens hundreds or thousands and even bigger in some instances and that's about it. So that's basically what this lesson was about. We were making rough estimates, uh, determining where our answer should fall, um, and looking at pretty large numbers in comparison. And uh, that's it. So if you have questions, please write them down, and I will be more than happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.